On this next one, we have five times the absolute value of x plus three plus two is greater than negative 13. Now you might be saying, oh, there's a negative, but we do still need to get the absolute value isolated first. So our first step is subtract two on both sides. And then divide by five. All right, warning, absolute value and a negative. The left side, the absolute value will give you a positive number. Negative three is a negative number. Is a positive number bigger than a negative number? Yes, always. So that one is all real numbers. Okay, the last one in this table is absolute value of 2x minus 4 is greater than 6. This is a great or problem. In a great or problem, one of our inequalities, we switch the symbol and take the opposite of the left side. The other one, we leave it exactly as it was originally. We solve both of them. So add four, divide by two, add four, divide by two. This is what your answer is supposed to look like x is less than negative 1 or x is greater than 5. What do you notice about these two answer choices that are left? They match those. You just drag them both into that cell and then you've got your answers where they need to be. Okay, let's write up a little guide in our notes that maybe would help us with this stuff. First one is absolute value of stuff is greater than something. Um, what should I use for something? See? This is a great or problem. So you set it up, stuff less than negative C or, I'm gonna move this a little bit so I have more room. Hey, come back, dude. stuff less than negative C or stuff greater than C. If it's less than, it's a less and problem. Negative C less than stuff less than C. Absolute value of stuff equals a negative. Can a positive number equal a negative number? So that is no solutions. Absolute value of stuff is greater than a negative. Is a positive number greater than a negative number? So that is all real numbers or many solutions or whatever. Absolute value of stuff is less than a negative. Can a positive be smaller than a negative? No, so that is no solutions. If you have something like that written somewhere in your notes, is the back page of your notes blank? Write that somewhere. So if you're watching this video, you may want to pause the video and make sure you have that down in your notes somewhere 
in a prominent place. I'm going to pause the recording here for a second. All right, question number 10. Determine if the, if the relation is a function or not. You're looking at the x values. Are there repeated x values? The x's do not repeat. It is a function. Domain and range. Domain is the x values. Range is the y values. So our x values are 1, 4, 5, 7, 9. I want that to be in my domain. I'm hoping that is the easiest question on the test and the next one as well. Linear or nonlinear? What do you think about the first one? Linear, because it's plain x. Second one, nonlinear, because it's x squared. So those two questions should give you a couple of easy points. Okay, graphing. I wanted to make sure that we went through graphing on EdSight, because if you know how to do it, it's crazy easy. If you've never tried it before, you're going to get to this point on the test and be like, oh crap, what do I do? So to graph this equation, you click where it says line B. So you click this little button, and that puts a line on the graph. This is not the answer. This is just giving you the line that you can move around and manipulate. It does not work well to use your finger for this. You need to use your mouse pad for this. Take one of those points, it does not matter which one, you can move either one around, it does not matter. But take one of those points and put it on your y-intercept three. Take the other point and from that y-intercept count down to right one. So use the slope to get that second point down. Now you can put it there, or you can go down two more and write one more. It, it doesn't matter where, as long as those two points create a slope of negative two. Because the computer is actually calculating the slope between the two points that you place to make sure that that slope is negative two. Okay, this one, it's kind of glitchy on this review. I don't know if it's glitchy on the test or not. But you click this, you get your, your line, what is the line x equals negative 2 supposed to look like? It's supposed to be vertical. So I put one of my points at negative 2 on the x-axis. The other point, I need to make a vertical line. But do you see how when you put the point up there, it makes the line disappear? That's, that's weird. I don't know if the test is going to do this or not. But what I want you to know is that if you form this vertical line, if the other point is directly above or directly below the original point, um, it will count it correct. So make sure that your two points are directly on top of each other. And if you connected those points, it would form a straight line. Because when we go to check our answers, it does put that in as a vertical line and it does count that as correct. So even though that line disappeared and you couldn't see the line between the points, it is still there. It's just, I don't know, it's weird. So what'd we get? Why does it say 96? What did we get wrong? Oh. Remember that one that wouldn't graph correctly? Where was that? No, the five is the correct number. It says it needs to be. Uh, oh, did I use the wrong? Oh, no, it, it had it had the the correct answer had the wrong symbol. Okay, so yeah, we missed one because of of this. I will make sure that that problem is correct on the test. And if it's not grading it correctly, I will go through each of your tests individually and find that problem and grade it individually to make sure that you get the points that you deserve for having a correct answer on the test. Okay. If you have any other questions about the test, make sure you let me know. Um, virtual learners, make sure that you email me or message me through Schoology if you have any questions. Um, if you go into Schoology, um, inside this week's folder under today, Thursday the 24th, it says help on chapter A review. That's the only thing in that folder. And the first part of it is the answer key for the paper copy. And remember, you can zoom in to see that better if you want. And then 
Here is the first video that I made over the first half of the review. And then the video that I am currently recording will be placed right down here after it uploads. So you will have both of those videos to go back and look at if you would like to.